They are undisputed icons of Aussie rock, but ACDC may soon call it a day. The music industry has been abuzz with speculation the band will stop playing and recording due to serious health concerns over one of its founders. Everyone knows we started from, from Australia. You know, Australia's got that kind of raw, rawness about it too. That, you know, it's got that kind of rough edge about it. Forty years, 200 million albums, quite possibly the biggest rock band in the world, and the only one with a 59-year-old schoolboy on lead guitar. As soon as I, I put on that suit and I put on the, and, I, and I just put that hat on, yeah, and then I, I, I just look in the mirror and I go, Jesus. And now it appears the music has stopped. All the best and, um, you know, from one old rocker to another, keep on rocking if you can. It's very sad that after 40 years of great success internationally, it would seem that now the band is going to disappear almost with a whimper. They were migrant kids from Sydney's West. Angus Young and older brother Malcolm started like most in the garage. We've always been a rock and roll band. Yeah. We, you know, like that's always what we played, and yeah. um, that's what we always want to keep playing is rock and roll. And so they did, all the way to the top. For four decades, the band had consistently performed at sold-out concerts around the globe. They would fill stadium after stadium. On their teens, well into their 50s and 60s, they battled out a raw brand of rock and roll. But it's fun. Lead singer Brian Johnson took over when Bon Scott died in 1980, and pretty much the band has stayed the original lineup since. And that perhaps is the reason for its demise, as founding brother Malcolm is gravely ill and has reportedly moved back to Australia with his family. The band has decided to call it quits. I am told there is a pact between the members that the current lineup will never be added to. So if somebody goes, they are not replaced, the band ends. Now, Late today, entertainment world, reporter Peter Ford spoke to crew members of the band. The band did get together and play in a sort of a jam session about six weeks ago. It wasn't particularly successful because of one of the band members not really being at the top of their game currently. At its heart, the band was always a family affair. Angus and Malcolm's sister actually came up with the name after seeing it on a sewing machine. Alternating current, direct current. ACDC symbolised their raw energy. Although here, we like to call them Akadaka. Their last major Australian television interview was on 60 Minutes. Are you a shy person? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Hmm? Yeah, well, I, I think that allows me to be the, uh, you know, the, the extrovert, probably. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then, uh, then I can go away, hide. Well, you'd have to say they would be Australia's greatest music export. You, you certainly would make a list, and it would include the Bee Gees, it would include In Excess, it would include Little River Band. It's still remarkable. There's ACDC up here, and the rest of us are way down here. Glenn Shorrick was the front man for LRB. A little river band, when we formed in 75, um, ACDC formed as well. And we broke the American market at the same time. But Shorrick admits, when it came to longevity, he was no match for Akadaka. We've all had a, a, our share of success internationally, but uh, ACDC are way, way past that. They play simple down-home rock and roll that appeals to the uh, masses. Five years ago, they were asked about the future. You never know what comes tomorrow, but you know... You... Impossible to answer, yeah. really, isn't it? Sadly, we now know the answer.
never be another Akadaka. And you can have your say about ACDC on our Facebook page and on Twitter.